Hi, my name is Ella and I'm the Exploring Barista and welcome to this new video. So we're now in the car to Austria. So taking you on uh, our journey, our adventure, we're going snowboarding and um, for me it's the second time snowboarding. So I'm also a bit nervous but also really excited about this. And never been to Austria, so another country to add to my list where I've been. And um, really looking forward to also the nature and the mountains and the snow. And we're also gonna get some nice weather and also curious about the coffee there. Still in the car, um, we decided to take a little quick coffee stop in München. So we're still on the way, we're at the stop now. But um, I think it's two more hours to the cafe. I forgot the name, so I'll take you there. And I'm really excited and looking forward for some coffee. A little tired, well, pretty tired at the moment. So I'm looking forward to the coffee. We just arrived here in this beautiful place. We are staying in a Airbnb at Zell am See. And wow, this view and this apartment, it's wow, really beautiful. So really looking forward. We're just gonna make some food, um, go to bed early and then tomorrow, easy day and the first day of snowboarding. Good morning. Waking up on this beautiful place. Uh, the view is amazing and the house is beautiful. Like I said yesterday, uh, we slept quite good. Um, still a bit tired from the journey, from the long drive yesterday, but um, really looking forward for this day. We're going into the little town here in front um, for waxing our snowboard and check out a little bit of the snowboard shops for some extra gear and there's a cafe there so I'm gonna take you there to the cafe showing you the cafe it's called Bella Bean Roastery and then after that we're going snowboarding <music> Let's go! Super warm, but really looking forward. Good job. just came back from snowboarding it was really amazing we went a little bit too long so I was exhausted but now it's like 20 degrees here and we just jumped into the <laughs> water which is like ice water but we did it and now it feels actually pretty good <laughs> It's the second day here and this morning I woke up exhausted and tired and completely empty. So I decided to stay home, do some yoga and some writing, some journaling and maybe some painting or reading a book. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do or maybe take my skateboard out. But Kuhn went snowboarding and uh, it's good that he goes alone as well because he's really good. He's been a snowboard teacher and so he's been teaching me about 
then he cannot really go super fast and even yesterday it went pretty good for the first day um, it's good that he has some alone time as well um, even though he loves snowboarding with me but yeah it's good to have a bit of quality time as well so that's what I'm gonna do today really taking it easy resting and it's gonna be nice weather again so I'm gonna sit in the Sun and Kuhn's coming back early to enjoy the Sun as well so um, here I am again um, didn't vlog the last days um, we were just going to snowboard and then um, eating and sleeping very early and really enjoying the holiday so didn't feel like taking the camera but uh, today was a really nice day there was fresh snow it was snowing and first we were doubting if we would go uh, up the mountains um, because here was a bit like the wet snow, a bit rainy, but uh, up it was amazing. And um, today I filmed a little bit also me on the board um, because the last days I was really focusing on, on the boarding and not falling today still, but a uh, little better. And it was for me the first time uh, snowboarding on fresh snow and it, it was really amazing. So I got some shots here. So today it's been snowing and there is so much new snow and it's amazing. I just have to get used to it, but uh, it's so nice. Such a different experience after all these days of sun and melting snow. We have fresh snow today. It's so amazing. Hi Koen. Are you enjoying yourself? changed houses by the way um, we were next door for the first part of the holiday and now we are here um, so it's even a more beautiful place better view uh, really enjoying it so the last few days it was amazing weather uh, like 26 degrees and then today was really cold it was like two degrees in the morning um, so it was a big change uh, and tomorrow is going to be sunny and around 18 degrees again so it's going to be nice again tomorrow is our last day on uh, here in Sel uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do a long day in the mountains snowboarding and uh, then preparing to go home on Friday it will be a long drive um, but it's been such a good good holiday I really needed it Hi, good morning. Today it's our last day here in Austria and uh, it's a perfect day to make a, a nano press. Um, so this is the nano press. I uh, actually won it in um, Barcelona when I was there. I have 18 grams of ground coffee here. Um, so I place this 
and the filter on here and then this part as well tear so 18 grams so today I'm a little tired from <laughs> snowboarding yesterday it was amazing but it was quite intense um, so definitely needing a coffee 16 Well, it's it's seventeen point seven. I'll I'll do that. I'll do it with this. It's fine. Um, also, still trying out this um, this coffee maker still. Um, so I have this to take out the big pieces. And then it's ready to temp. So there's also a temper with it. And I can take it off. So that looks like this. Then you can take off the temper and this part. It's cleaning it a little bit. This is how it looks now. And then we have this part. We place it on top. And then on the bottom of the nano press. That's it. It's so easy to make. Um, then we put water on the top. almost full now we have the lid so this is actually the pico presso by the way so you can do a pre-infusion just pressing a few times i do everything still on feeling because i have no clue <laughs> So I pressed five times. I wait a little bit. So that's the pre-infusion. And then I'm going to press. I don't know if you can see that. And now it's dropping out. So I put it on the scale so I can still measure. So I used 17.7 .7 grams. So I'll keep the, um, the grams out under 30, well, 35 maybe. So ratio one to two, all right, that's it. Okay, I have 36.8 now in the cup. This is how the espresso looks like. Can you see that beautiful crema? I never had that with any other coffee maker at home, only with this Pico Press, Nano Press. So, okay, let's try it. That's actually quite nice. It still comes out quite sour, um, but this coffee is also quite sour. I don't really mind, <laughs> but I know my boyfriend doesn't really like it but um this is my coffee today and um i hope you enjoyed watching this uh, today i'll take you with my iphone um to the last day on the in the mountain snowboarding i'll try to film a little bit more also the surrounding yesterday was not much to see um but today it's still cloudy, but it will be sunny today, so I'll, I'll try that.
our last day and the weather is beautiful. such a beautiful day the sun is shining it's super quiet oh, a perfect last day and we're definitely gonna miss this <music> going down can I go? huh can i go yes awesome i'm ready if you're ready good day on the snowboard last day and uh, we actually decided to uh, drive back uh, tonight or at least a few hours and then get a hotel and then do the last part um, so I just made a ice matcha and an ice latte which went wrong <laughs> I forgot to put the um, I don't know what it's called but the thing on the filter <laughs> so that came out bad but it still tastes nice so I'm definitely gonna enjoy this get some extra energy um, we start packing and then we go and snowboarding went really good I'm so proud of myself it was such a fun day like every day I was improving and um, I was more excited and less tired on the board and we did a lot of red slopes and one and the last one we did a black slope and I wasn't even afraid so I was also really proud and a lot of curving and then curves and then carving that's something that I didn't do before that I uh, tried today and it also went pretty well so I'm, uh, I'm really happy and it was really cool we'll definitely go back again and especially to this place because it was amazing it was so beautiful good morning from Nuremberg so we decided to take a stop here in Germany in Nuremberg and take a hotel and actually quite a nice hotel it's called the Neu Leo and um, yeah it's actually really comfortable nice bed and um, all that you need in a hotel for one night I'm holding my camera a bit weird so I don't know where to look <laughs> um, we're going for a coffee when we're ready there are actually some quite nice cafes here in, in Nuremberg only they open at 10 in um, yeah at 10 and that's a bit late for us as we still have to drive six hours to the border of the Netherlands to drop our um, um, boarding gear and then uh, two more hours to Amsterdam so we wanted to leave a little earlier so this cafe is open at 8 and um, I think it's called the coffee club but I'll take you there I'm very curious how coffee especially coffee is in Nuremberg so it's really nice we've been to um, uh, Munich and then coffee in Zellamsee and then here in Nuremberg so it's nice to try some cafes on the way on our trip. So looking forward. So this was our last coffee spot of the trip and I really recommend this place. It was very it's in a small neighborhood and and you can feel that in the vibe and it was not posh it was just really laid back and the espresso was really good we had an uh, ecuadorian coffee and a one from honduras my favorite was the honduras um really good can really recommend this place
now back to the Netherlands. And we're back in Amsterdam, back home. And it was a beautiful trip, I really enjoyed it. It was my first time in Austria, it was my second time snowboarding. And um, it was amazing. I, I would definitely go again. And also to that place, Salamsee, snowboarding in Caproon. I can really recommend it. Also the coffees on the way, really nice, really nice to try some new cafes. Um, I think the best coffee that I had was the Ethiopian Espresso in uh, Bella Bean in Salamsee. was definitely my favorite and I'm looking forward to the next trip or maybe, maybe the next video. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Still figuring out a little bit what to do with the videos, with the channel. So if there's anything that you like to see from my life or from coffee or anything that you like to know, please leave a comment so I know and I can take that with me in uh, my next videos. Definitely want to make more videos again because I love it. Um, so here I like to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!